We need to go out and get the hearts of gizzards. Here's a little trick I always use. Every time I go to the pile to pick one up, I put my finger inside to see how warm it is. The warmer they are, the easier they are to clean it. Yeah, this one definitely was shot this morning. Besides this warm, look how the, everything just pulls right off of it. It's so nicely. All anyway, right, that was my little lesson for the day. Thank you. Gut with Ron. Gut with Ron. Who's the author, Steve, who says it's an abomination, or what do you call it? Jim Harrison, Sin Against God, Man, to Skin a Bird. No, I remember you said that once. It's stuck in my head. Most of these birds were uh, taking the breast flays out and then taking the drumsticks and thighs out as one piece and then pulling the heart and gizzard. But I took a young one and I'm plucking it. This guy's full of little pin feathers. These things right here, like in feathers that are still coming in. Sometimes you'll pluck a bird and he'll have them, sometimes they won't. I think it depends where he's at in his molt stage and how old he is. So he's a hassle. But I got most of it off. You kind of rub it with your hand, you know. And what we can do to clean them up and get it close is uh, just use a torch. It stinks when you stand next to the guy doing it. Oh yeah, it's like burning someone's hair when you're trying to light gunpowder on fire, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> what is there a story with it? Yeah. yeah. That's what happened to me. Yeah, I was trying to light a big pile of big, big. <laughs>